Capricorn Ascendant, it's Michelle, your practical priestess here at Divinely Genuine. So welcome, we're here to do your solar eclipse tarot reading for the solar eclipse on July uh, 12th, 2018. Let's set us up here, there we go. Um, so for you Capricorn Ascendant, it's not for Capricorn, Sun or Moon, you need to Google your natal birth chart if you're unaware of your ascendant sign, you will need your date of birth. I'm sorry, your time, your birth time for that. So Capricorn ascendant, you guys are being affected by the solar eclipse on July 12th um, in your area of relationships. Um, it's going to be affected in your seventh house and um, Cancer is the area in which the solar eclipse is taking place at 20 degrees Cancer. So for you guys, you all have Cancer in your 7th house of relationships. It also would be any justice system issues going on at this time um, can be seen there. Um, that house is basically your partnerships and um, it's home to the descendant which is the energy we know the least okay so capricorn ascendants i have communed with spirit bless the deck for you guys and now we just need to cut the deck for you capricorn ascendants and cut this one this is for like I said, the solar eclipse, We've, we're working with Doreen Virtue's Healing Fairy Cards. And Bridget Reed and Colin Howard's Tarot deck. It's going to be a three card spread as usual with one healing advice card from the fairies. Let's get into it. Wow. We're at, that's pretty perfect for affecting your seventh house of relationships. Capricorn Ascendants, we're starting with the um, Lover's card. Okay. Here it is. The Lover's card is an archetype card which suggests major change. Um, but as we know, the Eclipse is going to bring major change and in this area of life for you. The card symbolizes a loving relationship, friendship, and harmony. It also means choice, decisions, and the balance of male and female energies. Okay. Beautiful. We've got the Four of Swords appearing here in the second place. The suit of swords means strength, courage, hope, and peace amid strife and a successful journey. So we have the four of swords, the Lord of Truths marks a period. Okay. Let's see. Marks a period where we are able to rest and recover after a difficult time in our life. It will appear after trauma, the breakdown of a relationship, a troublesome and worrying time financially, or an operation or a major illness. So now is a time for rest, recuperation, especially if you've been through anything traumatic. Capricorn Ascendants. If you guys are interested, I am doing a spiritual healing free session, 30-minute session on my website, divinelygenuine.com. We now have the King of Wands as a close in this reading, re reading for you guys. So we've got the Lover's card, which is telling you to balance your feminine and masculine aspects within yourself. Could also be representing a relationship in your life. Um, we have the Four of Swords here that's saying that now is the time to heal while getting, you know, enough rest, recuperation, and care for yourself after possible traumatic events. And then we go here with the King of Wands, very powerful card. 
The King of Wands, the King supports our creative efforts and motivates our ambitions. Upholding the principles of integrity, beware of relying on him though as he cannot devote all of his efforts to one cause. He has the same intense capacity for romantic passion that he applies to his creative work and can push us to persevere in seeking the highest of unions. That is definitely beautiful. Maybe some of you guys are, and I don't mean men, maybe some of you Capricorn Ascendants are in a divine connection. And this King of Wands is affirming that you need to seek the highest and not settle. And upon healing, you will receive what you're asking for. But now is the time to rest and recuperate in that area. Okay. Let's see what the healing fairies have to say. Higher consciousness. It sounds to me like a divine connection has transpired. Uh, twin flames, probably. Um, so the lover's card is presented, which is a divine connection. You need to enable, in order to have um, a good go at this relationship, it is important for you to balance your feminine and masculine aspects within yourself. Rest, recuperate, and heal any trauma that this relationship has brought on or any past relationships. And as you do that, embrace your creativity and passion um, as the King of Wands does. And um, be sure that you are acting as him when it comes to regards of relationships and love and don't settle. But yet instead keep your sight on the highest, best relationship for you. And in that process, our healing fairies are saying higher consciousness. You are receiving guidance from your true self, your higher consciousness, which is one with divine universal wisdom. You are listening to love rather than fear. This card is a validation that your recent feelings, thoughts, dreams, and aspirations are coming from spirit. You have been asking for divine guidance, and your higher self has answered your prayers. Your spiritual path has helped you um, hear this voice because you've taken the time to listen. Perhaps you've begun a meditation or yoga practice, and this has helped you quiet your mind. Or maybe you've put your foot down to the universe and have admittedly decided to improve your life. Whichever route you've taken is working very well. Now the fairies ask you to keep having conversations with your higher consciousness. This will involve carrying out, I'm sorry, carving out time away from noise and stress. You may need to take frequent nature walks, uh, join a spiritual support group, or go on a retreat. By quieting your life and your mind, the voice of your higher consciousness becomes increasingly loud and clear. It guides you perfectly through all life, life areas. The affirmation, Capricorn Ascendant, for this card is, I easily hear and understand the inner voice of spirit. So you guys already know, you will already know what to do and how this is uh, pertaining to you. You just follow your, your inner compass, your intuition. Thank you guys for your support. Ooh, I love you Capricorn Ascendants. Have a great transit. See you then. Peace.